filmmakers Alex and Stephen Kendrick developed a love for making movies when they were just kids. When we were growing up, we didn't have a television for a while, and uh, but our parents would take us to see Disney films. And so we got excited about wanting to, to get into filmmaking one day. We were doing stop and go animation flip books we were with our Hardy Boys books at home. Uh, we got a little stop and go animation eight millimeter camera when I think Alex was in fourth grade at the time. And then a video camera when they came out in our teenage years in the eighties. And so uh, it's been a part of our lives from the beginning. Raised by Christian parents, they are especially passionate about producing films with a faith message. Sherwood Baptist Church in the small town of Albany, Georgia, gave them that opportunity. The brothers help with the church's media ministry and today serve as associate pastors. Uh, we love our church family at Sherwood. They've been very supportive of us from the beginning. Flywheel, their first film, tells the story of a dishonest used car salesman who comes to grips with his need for God. Produced on a bare bones budget, it ran in their local theater for six weeks. We have a warrant for your arrest. They went on to write and produce three more films, with brother Alex in the director's chair. Facing the Giants, Courageous and Fireproof have grossed nearly $80 million, with a combined budget of less than $4 million. Fireproof, a movie about restoring marriage, became the highest grossing independent film of 2008. Love Dare, its accompanying devotional, has sold more than three and a half million copies. The success of these little-known Christian filmmakers has left Hollywood scratching its head. The Kendricks credit prayer for their accomplishments. Every one of our movies is a whole string of miracles where the Lord would step up and provide exactly what we needed, the cash, the crew, the locations, the protection, the storyline, the truths to communicate. And so um, when we look up on the scene, uh, when we look up on the screen, we see the body of Christ. No amount of skill can manufacture the favor of God. And so we need the Lord's favor to say, you know, I want to bless this film. Where the Lord says, I'm going to do things you cannot do in your own power. The same thing he did with Joshua and Gideon and Moses and so many others. CBN News was invited here on the set for the latest Kendrick film, which they hope inspires Christians around the globe to pray. Each of our films has a theme that we felt like the Lord led us to, uh, uh, led us to make a movie about. This time it was on the power of prayer. And to, uh, and, and to remind um, believers that we must not only pray, but sometimes do battle in prayer. This fifth project, a family drama simply known as Movie 5, features Priscilla Shirer, best-selling author, Bible teacher, and daughter of Pastor Tony Evans. Making her big screen debut, Shirer shared what it was like working with the Kendricks on set. We've just had a great time getting the job done, but just being lighthearted and fun in the process. And to see their patience, oh gosh, Alex as a director has to be so patient while lighting gets it right and while the cameras get their uh, focus and while the actors are making sure they have their lines and he's got all these moving parts and to watch him in the midst of that swirling hurricane, be patient with all those dynamics, basically he's, he's shown us what leadership is. Movie 5 also marks their first project produced under the newly formed Kendrick Brothers Films. The Lord told us, expand your filmmaking beyond Sherwood's walls, and take what you've learned under the leadership of Michael Catt and under the support of the church, and try to impact the body of Christ, networking with young Christian filmmakers from across the nation so that they're learning, too, how to make God-honoring films. According to a recent survey, more than half of Americans want more movies with Christian values. To feed that growing demand, major studios are taking a leap of faith with biblical epics such as Noah, the release of Exodus in December of this year, and a remake of Ben-Hur scheduled for early 2016. It's paying off. During April of 2014, four faith-based movies made the top 20 at the box office. That trend excites the Kendricks. We're grateful that the platform for Christian films is getting larger and more and more talented and, and God-fearing filmmakers are jumping into this arena and making films with strong, bold messages. And so we're seeing audiences respond. And so the more that come out, we know that it's, there's a groundswell. And so we're grateful for that. We're excited to be among them doing that. And so, you know, when you hear movies that proclaim God's truth, that proclaim the gospel and do it without compromise, without watering it down, we're, we're cheering them on. Kendrick Movie 5 is set to hit theaters fall of 2015.
Charlene Aaron, CBN News, Charlotte, North Carolina.